Greetings. Today uh, I'm going to uh, give you a little demonstration of a game that uses uh, motion tracking. Um, I had it on my GitHub site. Uh, it was an old one and uh, I decided to uh, do some improvements. So this one's got a little menu on it that's activated by uh, uh, motion and uh, the uh, it kind of handles it handles two players and uh, keeps a high score. So I thought what I'd do is uh, to start the game uh, and give you a, a demonstration. You can control various uh, aspects of it, like a uh, number of levels. Uh, for this demonstration, I've uh, I've set it up with uh, uh, just five levels. And let's start it up here. Okay, and just uh, move it up here. I've um, I've made the I've got a screen multiplier, and uh, so the screen is a little bigger here than its uh, uh, default 640 by 2420. So you you basically activate the menu by uh, uh, moving in the, within the box. Okay, so now you've got a box and you try to score as high as you can from go to five levels. The, five, the levels are set for uh, 10 seconds but that can be changed. It's, uh, and as uh, each level goes down the, the box gets a little bit smaller. So it'll come up to uh, so I guess we're going to beat the high score here. So if you're playing it uh, standing farther away, if you've got kids or whatever, I've got a few other uh, programs um, that uh, use uh, similar logic and stuff. So uh, that's it. I, I thought maybe some of you might be interested if you've got uh, some young kids or pe kids that uh, maybe need a little inspiration for um, uh, maybe looking at OpenCV. Uh, it is an uh, interesting field and, uh, and uh, it was kind of fun writing this uh, game. Uh, a little frustrating sometimes when you try and do things in real time, but uh, it does work okay and uh, you might want to give it a try. Bye for now.